Pre-visualization, or pre -vis, is basically, it allows us to work with the client, mostly the director and the producers of a film, television show, or game cinematic, or any type of, you know, entertainment type property. Um, it gives us an opportunity to visually start telling their story and use very quick and um, sometimes complex shots but in a fast manner so that uh, right off the bat the creator of the project can start to visually see what their project what their film or content is going to be um, a lot of times you know we'll be given like storyboards but as great as storyboards can be what they limit is uh, the pace or the tone or the speed of an action sequence or any type of you know important moment of uh, a piece of creative work. Um, so we basically take um, the storyboards and develop it into a 3D aspect using digital characters, digital sets, digital uh, assets, all the creatures, anything, and we start to tell their story and edit it together very similar to how the director would end up shooting their film. It allows us to quickly within a few weeks, if not a few days, get something in front of uh, the director that he can actually see how his uh, story or his project is going to be visualized. PostViz is kind of the same aspect and what that allows uh, the director or at this point um, the editor to really figure out is how after they've gone and shot all the, the footage and all the principal photography of the film or project, um, they then can bring it back to the editing bay and the cutting room floor and figure out, okay, which takes are going to work, which is it. We can do pretty much quick effects, quick uh, ideas, quick lighting passes so that the director and the editor can kind of see and flush out the edit of their film before turning over the final um, shots to a visual effects vendor like Pixelmon. TechViz, um, it's pretty much the, it's the step right before a director goes and shoots. And a lot of times the director of photography um, will see our pre -vis and then need to figure out, okay, well, the, the director has approved the pre -vis. How do we now go and properly shoot this? All of the cameras that we do in our pre -vis are technically correct. So we will use accurate lenses. We will use the proper cameras that the DP is planning on using. So that will help with the film backs and with what type of you know, lensing and distance that they are actually shooting this footage. This allows us to pre-do that in pre -vis so that when we get onto shooting, um, they have everything laid out. So they know the distance between the camera and myself and, you know, and anything else that's going on in the scene is accurate and they can just reproduce that which cuts down the time of trying to figure out well what, what do I want to try like the director saying maybe I'll try a 35 maybe I'll try a 50 we eliminate a lot of that because we've done that in previous